Make sure that your eyeshadow look will stay all day by using an eye primer and here I'm using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I chose Soft Ochre over Urban Decay Primer Potion or Panoli for example because I think with smokier look, Soft Ochre works a lot better and just helps the shadows really show very true to color. Taking a burnt gold color on a MAC 217 brush, I'm applying this from my lid up into my crease and then I'm also going to be smudging this along my lower lash line and in the beginning this is going to look very messy and not very pretty but I promise by the end of the tutorial it will all come together and it will look much better. Just stay with me, I promise. Now I'm taking a light beige gold and applying this right above the burnt orangey gold shade that we just applied into the crease and this will help blend it out furthermore and be very light and wispy. Now with a neutral matte brown shade, I'm applying this into my crease with a big blending brush and this will help blend together the two shades and also reduce the extra shininess and sheen that the eyeshadow that we just applied gave the look because I think that it looked a little bit too shiny. Now I'm going in with a warm taupey brown and applying this into the hollow of my crease and you can find that just by pushing in and wherever your like eye naturally folds in, that is the socket of your eye and we are going to apply this dark color in there and this will give your eye natural depth and dimension. Don't forget to be constantly blending out this look, I promise that it will look much better if it's all blended out rather than having specific eyeshadow placements in random parts of your eye. Now going in with this rustic cranberry taupe shade, I'm going to be applying this onto the outer V of my crease and that also includes the outer third of my lid and this will help deepen up the look and give it a more smoky vibe. Pop a off-white pearl color into the center of your lids and this will add a beautiful pop of brightness to the eyes and also make the look glow. For this look, I chose to go with a black liquid eyeliner for my top liner. However, if you want a softer look, you can either go with shadow, gel liner, or a pencil. I'm also going to wing out my upper lash line to give my eye an elongated effect. Line your waterline with a coal liner, or if you don't have a coal liner, anything that will smudge easily. And I'm going in with this on my waterline to create a furthermore dramatic effect. I personally love the look of a smudgy lower lash line, so that's what I'm going for now. I'm taking the MAC 217 brush and the first burnt amber um, golden color that we use and smudging this right along the lower lash line. Be sure to also drag a little bit of the black liner into this lower lash line. It makes the biggest difference and it's so pretty. I'm also going to go back in and lighten up my inner corner a little bit with the pearl shadow that we popped on the center of our lids. Here I'm finishing off the eyes with a little bit of mascara. The first one is a lengthening mascara and this is L'Oreal Telescopic. And the second one is a waterproof volumizing mascara and this is Maybelline The Falsies. I'm also going to be applying the waterproof mascara onto my lower lashes. Moving on to the rest of the look, I'm going to begin by applying a medium BB cream onto my skin and this is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream and I find that this gives a very dewy effect and just enough coverage for the summertime. Do not neglect your eyebrows. I promise it will make all the difference. It finishes off an eye makeup. It finishes off a face in general. It frames the face. I know you guys hear this a whole bunch of times, but it is so important to the look. Please don't forget them. So here I'm filling in my eyebrows with the MAC Eyebrow Pencil and I fill in my brows by first outlining the underneath of my brow starting at the tail and then working my way up towards the front and then when I get to the front I make small wispy hair like motions to create the most natural effect. Pop a little bit of the pearl eyeshadow that we applied to the center of the lids and to the inner corner of the eye right underneath your eyebrow and this gives the most beautiful sheen and glow to the eye makeup. I'm now going in with my concealer to one, conceal my under eye circles obviously, but two, it's also going to help blend out the lower lash line and clean it up a little bit, as well as clean up the rest of the eye makeup. I'm also going to use whatever excess is left over and highlight a little bit on my nose and on my chin since this is a little bit too light for me. Then I'm also going to go in with a brush. This is by Real Techniques. This is their small foundation brush and I'm going to go in with this and also help blend out the eye makeup and lower lash line. Take a translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm going to go underneath my eyes with this and also anywhere that I applied the concealer to set it. 
Now to bring some color back into my face, I'm going in with my brand new NARS Laguna bronzer. And putting on a brand new bronzer is beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm way too excited about this. But I'm just applying this to my cheekbones and up onto my temples, a little bit onto my jaw, and around the sides of my nose just to give a nice summery glow. I'm going in with my tried and true blush through everything. This is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Stereo Rose and applying it to my temples as well as onto my nose for a summery glow. And to finish off the look, I'm going in with my new favorite lip gloss. This is the Naked Lip Gloss in the shade Walk of Fame.